Hi students, let us go with the, 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 the next session in motion which is on circular motion. So far we have actually looked at various terms. We looked at speed, we looked at velocity, we looked at displacement, we looked at acceleration and in all this what we were looking at was a rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion means you're talking about a body which is moving on a straight line. Now we are actually looking at a different kind of motion which is circular motion where the path followed by the object is a circle. So before starting the session, this session is coming from Navayuk study and I'm tutor Vinod Menon. So what do you mean by uniform circular motion? There are a few characteristics in the uniform circular motion and that's what you're going to look at here. The characteristics are that the speed is uniform. You please should emphasize it is not velocity, it is speed that you're talking about, not velocity. So don't confuse between speed and velocity. As we've seen, speed is a scalar whereas velocity is a vector, right? So the speed is uniform but velocity is changing because the change there is change in direction and since there is a velocity change there is a change in direction of uh, in the case of velocity and since velocity is a vector so velocity is a vector and since there is a change in direction we say that velocity is changing because we have already discussed that velocity is a vector and which means it includes both the magnitude and direction and even if the magnitude is the same if the direction is changing as you've seen uh, in, the, in, in uh, the example of a car moving through a curved path right even though the speed was constant since the direction is continuously changing there is a change in velocity and if there is a change in velocity then there is acceleration so this is the peculiarity of circular motion where even though the your speed is uniform the velocity is changing because of change in direction now let us let us look at it diagrammatically and try to understand what you're talking about here so so here is a diagram which actually explains exactly what i told in the last slide now if you look at the velocity of a body which is moving in a circular motion the direction of the velocity at any specific point is tangential to the circular path. So this direction is called tangential. Oops. Tangential direction. I don't know whether the, you have learned about what is a tangent to a circle. Just to explain a tangent at any point is perpendicular to the radii connecting the point with the center of uh, the center of the circle. So here is a radius which is connecting it to the point to the center of the circle. A line if it is drawn perpendicular to that radius that is tangential to that circle at that point. So here this will be 90 degrees. So that is a tangential direction. So here the velocity as at, at any point will be tangential to that point. So here you can see this is again tangential and this is 90 degrees. Now if you look at point A, let us say this is point A and this is point B. Between point A and point B, the speed, let us term the speed as S. The speed is the same but the velocity is different because the direction has changed. Here the direction was here like that and here the direction is here. So the direction has changed and because the direction has changed even though the speed is constant the velocity is different because velocity is a vector and, if, and because there is a change in velocity there is acceleration and in fact we can prove that the acceleration is always directed radially inward so this is the direction of acceleration you can see I have marked it here so the acceleration 
acceleration is radially inward. Which means this is a radius, radially inward means along the direction of radius towards the center. So that is the direction of acceleration. This can be proved. We are not proved that, right? This can be proved, but that will require us to learn calculus. So since we are not learned calculus, we are not getting the proof. But later on, in, probably in 11th, you will prove this. Uh, direction is inward, and what exactly is the direction? Actually, the acceleration is v squared by r. The, the formula to find the acceleration is v squared by r, where v is the the, the, the magnitude of the velocity and r is the radius of the circular path. So the acceleration is b squared by r and acceleration is directed radially inward. Okay, fine. So I think this is pretty clear. Now, we have actually discussed about inertia probably in Newton, when we discussed about Newton's first law in 8th standard, right? And what did we learn there? So as we have seen when you're sitting in a bus and when the bus starts moving from the state of rest, you feel you're pushed backwards. Now that is because of inertia. Why? Because as you see in Newton's first law, the body will always resist a change in its uniform motion. So assume that it is a state of rest, that means its velocity was zero, and now the bus is trying to move and always the body will resist the, the change of state or change of uh, velocity and that is why and that is that change that resistance towards change in state or change in velocity is inertia so whenever there is a body which is getting accelerated there is also going to be inertia acting on it same concept can be applied here so here you have an acceleration which is radially inward and the body always wants to resist that acceleration. So the inertia, the effect of inertia will be readily outward. The same concept as somebody sitting in a bus and bus moving forward and he, go, he, he kind of getting pushed backwards because of inertia. The same concept here and that means always the inertia is acting in the opposite direction of acceleration. So here the acceleration is readily inward so the effect of inertia will be outward. Okay, and so this is and the radially inward acceleration. This is basically called the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration. Okay, so that is called cent centripetal acceleration. Okay, now since we have seen all this, I just probably need to close this. Exit and open it again. Just a moment. Okay. So let us go to the next slide, right, where we will discuss further on the concept of inertia. So as I explained, when there is a radially inward acceleration, there is a radially inward acceleration, always the inertia acts against the acceleration, in the opposite direction of acceleration. So the inertia is acting outward and the acceleration inward is called centripetal acceleration. And then there is a imaginary force because of inertia which acts outward. And that is why when you are standing on a merry-go-round and somebody starts rot rotating the merry-go-round pretty fast, you feel like getting thrown out. You feel like getting thrown out because you are because of the circular motion that your body is having, it has got a centripetal acceleration, whereas your body, the mass that you have, has got inertia, which is always going to be acting in a direction opposite to the acceleration, and that is where you feel like getting thrown out. And that, that inertia, the effect of inertia, is also called centrifugal force. Centrifugal force. This is nothing but because of inertia. Okay, so always you feel like um, you know getting thrown out when you are moving, and that is because there is a centripetal acceleration because of uh, because of the radially inward acceleration because of your circular motion, and that is because your velocity's direction is continuously changing, 
and always the body will uh, the inertia acting on the body will be in the direction opposite to the acceleration so ultimately you feel like getting thrown out because of the inertia okay so this is what is really happening uh, during your circular motion i hope that that is clear to you right so let us go to the next uh, so this is based, this is what it is and so some of the examples which we want to discuss now some of the examples that you want to discuss about circular motion one is movement of satellites around the earth right now what is really happening uh, just to explain the movement of satellites around the earth right so uh, let me go to whiteboard so how is this happening how is the satellite movement happening right so 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 this is the orbit of the satellite okay and uh, and here is the earth so this is the earth in the middle and there is a satellite moving Oops, let me use a different color say white so here is a satellite moving so what is happening it's going around and here definitely the direction of velocity is tangential now how is a satellite continuing on this orbit in fact, because of the effect of the centripetal acceleration, always there's an inertia which is uh, making the the satellite thrown out of the orbit, right? So this is the inertia. But why is the the satellite remaining in orbit? Is because of the gravitational pull. So there is a gravitational pull. We will discuss about gravity later on, Newton's law of gravity, and we'll compute how this what this force is and all that don't worry about it but really the the motion of the satellite is is happening on this orbit because there is the effect of inertia which is acting outward but at the same time there is a gravitational force which is acting inward and both are balancing each other and that is why the bot the satellite is continuing in its orbit okay so this uh, i just just wanted to explain that okay now earth's movement around sun the same thing of course the Earth's movement on the Sun is not on exactly a circular path, it is actually on an elliptical path, right? But the same concept can be applied. Train moving on a curve, a car moving on a curve. You can see when your car is moving on a curve, you feel like again pushed out of the door and then you have to hold on something to stay at, the, at your seat. So I think this actually gave you an idea about circular motion. So just to sum up, circular motion is where the, the speed of the body in the, in the, which is moving a circular path is constant, but its velocity is changing because of the direction, change in direction. Velocity at any point is in its tangential direction to the circle. And the acceleration, which is called the centripetal acceleration, is directed radially inward. And at at the same time, because of this acceleration, there is going to be inertia which is acting on a body which is going to be in the opposite direction of the centripetal acceleration. So, net-net, when a body is going on a circular motion, always there is a tendency for that body to be thrown out, radially outwards, because of the inertia. And we we also discuss, we also told, we also, uh, we didn't get into the proof, but we found, we I also stated that the centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared by r where v is the magnitude of velocity and r is the radius of the circle right then we discussed about some examples of circular motion and and I explained how satellite remains on its orbit uh, there is a effect of inertia or the centrifugal force which kind of makes the satellite being thrown readily outward but there is a gravitational pull which is acting on the the satellite which is going to be really inward and the, both these will balance and that is how the satellite continues in that circular orbit. Uh, the same concept can be used if you are tying a string and a, a stone at the end of the string and you try to rotate it and you will find there is always a tension on the string. Why there is a tension on the string is because the, that stone is always wanting to get thrown out but you are holding the tension on the string is holding it back. 
and that's how it is kept on the circular orbit. So I think these this makes these examples make it clear about um, how the circular motion happens. Uh, so with that, we are coming to an end to this section session uh, on circular motion. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, you can send mail on navyuk.study at gmail.com. Please access our e-learning website navyukstudy.in slash e-learning where all these course materials, video classes, tests, everything is there. Make use of it and have fun learning uh, science and maths. Thank you.